some tape yeah, on the floor. Get, where's <laughs> my mark? I don't know where to stand. <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Michael, welcome to Overland Bound. Adventure is necessary, your greatest adventure. About 10 feet out the door. All right, so two things underestimated on every adventure. Water and the amount of time it takes you to set up a kitchen. We're gonna look at two solutions today and they're awesome. Now, this quick setup, all-in-one kitchen is at a price point that might surprise you. So let's head down the hill. We're gonna go and talk to Mike at Mega Mike's Fabrication. It's a local small business and he's doing some great stuff. Let's head down the hill and meet Mike. So Mike, thanks for, thanks for talking to me today. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. So I rolled up and of course, I know about Bitchin' Kitchen and Hydro 3 water system, right? Yes. That's the name of the Hydro 3 water system. And then I rolled up and it says custom welding and fabrication as well. <laughs> yeah. And that got my wheels turning. Yeah. How'd you, how'd you start your company? Tell me a little bit about it. And I'd also like to know like a little bit about you as well. Um, yeah, well, yeah. I like building stuff. Mm -hmm. I like, you know, I, I off-road and stuff. And then, you know, when you go out there, it's like, okay, I want this and nobody has it or, you know, let's, let's build our own. Or you break it, cause or, it's or not. You, yeah, or you break <laughs> it, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's how I built the Hydro 3 system. I mm -hmm. did it first for the JK. Uh, it was just, you know, I was going out camp and I wanted water. Okay, we, we need water and I don't want to bring water all the time. Yeah. It takes up room. So I built the Hydro 3 system for the JK. Yep. And then I moved it on to the Gladiator. But the Gladiator has a filter, tank, UV light. It's a much more involved system. When did you um, come up with the inspiration? So. We know that water is often something that is uh, underestimated by folks in, in many ways, not the, the amount that you need. It needs to be purified. Right. The weight mm -hmm. of water, especially if you're gonna be out there for a little while. When did you kinda, what inspired you to come up with the water system? When I carried cases of waters with me and I had all the garbage left over from all the water bottles. <laughs> <laughs> right. Really? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Or our jugs were empty, you know, stuff like that. This holds 19 gallons. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> we were Yeah, let's get right into the let's let's get into the water system. Yeah, tell me how it Yeah, so let, we were out tell me how it works. We were out hunting one day, my son uh -huh. and I, and um, he's like, Dad, I want a shower. I'm like, okay, you know, don't use all the water, you know, because the river's down down or the stream we we're gonna go to next to get more water was down a little way. Yeah. So twenty minutes later he's still sitting in the shower, the steam's coming out, you know, what are you doing in there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was uh, we still had plenty of water even after his twenty minute shower. Yeah. But right we on. were able to refill again, just go down the road a little bit we found a spring so we have a holding tank so you have 19 gallons yep um, you have a suction line so you can refill your tank you could bypass the tank and you can so you could bypass it and yep. just use the water out of the, the river you know if you want great and not even touch the water in your tank okay and does that that gets filtered it does get filtered okay and then if you want to refill your tank it's filtered going into the tank and then it's filtered coming back out of the tank again. So it's double filtered coming back out of the tank okay. if you refill it. It's filtered with a 0.5 micron filter, an oversized filter yeah. to make sure it gets all the particles out, stuff like that. Charcoal filter and then UV yeah. light, so you're getting, you're getting purified water. Yeah, out, you're getting purified water. So basically it's yeah. like a holding tank in your house or a well system. So you have a well system, yep. it pulls the water out of the ground, puts it into a holding tank, and then your holding tank goes through your filtration system in your house and then you get the pot of water. Yeah. So it's basically the exact same concept, Yeah. just smaller in the back of a gladiator. So now that already does a lot. So I'm, I'm gonna be off road for a number of, a number of days. Um, ideally because of weight, I don't wanna bring all my water with me necessarily. 19 gallons, that's quite a bit. It is. You know, so, so you already have a good supply, but then being able to, at the source, draw in more water yeah. is, is, is super, super critical. So on your map, yeah. I mean, the maps nowadays, they show you where springs are. Yeah. They show you where creeks are, stuff yeah. like that. You know you're, where you're going. Yeah. So, okay, say you're gonna go 10 miles or so, and you don't need but a couple gallons of water. Yeah. So throw a couple gallons of water in it so you don't have all the weight with you right away. Right. And then when you get to that spring, you know, switch it over, bypass the tank, mm -hmm. take your showers, wash your dishes, cook your food, do all that. 
yep. throw a couple more gallons in it if you want, <clears throat> or fill it all the way, and then go on to your next destination. Right on. So now you just mentioned uh, take a shower. So <clears throat> just having a water system, cool. The fact that it also supplies hot water, mm -hmm. how does that work? How does your hot water system work? Yes, yeah, so we yeah. have a heat exchanger that mounts underneath the hood, mm -hmm. and it ties into the heater core system on the Jeep. Right. So you do have to run the vehicle. Okay, yep. Uh, to get the optimal heat, you have to run the vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, I found that was the best way to do it because now it limits how much propane I need to, t to carry. I don't need to carry more propane, right. more stuff in the way. Everything is totally contained to the vehicle. You, right. don't, you don't unpack it. Right. You don't repack it. You have a you have a you have a you have a great source of energy that you're bringing along with you no matter what. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. You don't yeah. need anything else. Yeah. yeah. No. That's. Yeah. And I like to start the vehicle, you know, periodically anyway when I'm out. Yep. Uh, I have a dual battery system in here. Uh, I don't have the solar panels yet, but I'm working on that. Mm -hmm. um, and I do like to run the vehicle periodically just to keep everything going. You know, when it's cold in the mornings, get started up, fired up. Yep. But then that's the time that you're probably going to want to, you know get your hot water for washing your dishes or right. taking a shower or stuff like that. Right, yeah, so, so you just get time it. it. Up. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> um, on the trail, tell me a little bit about, you know, you're building out your rig, um, uh, and I imagine, you know, being from the area, you've been off-road uh, and having four-wheel drive adventures for quite some time. Yes. Yeah, so many, many years. Especially living in this area, I think I know every dirt road around here. All yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Um, so what's important to you as you're building out your rig? What are some of the things that you're considering while you're incorporating these systems? Um, everything. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I want to have water, uh -huh. you know, I want to have a fridge, a kitchen, a tent, you know, the awning, but I want everything mounted to the vehicle. You right. know, I, I don't want to have to, let's go grab our, our five gallon bucket of water over here and yeah. set it up in here. Our jugs, okay, let's tie our jugs down. I just want everything in there. So when you pull up to camp, yeah. you just open something up and everything's right there, ready right. to go. And then it folds right. back in and closes up. So yeah. like, where, you know where the toad is that has the, uh, <laughs> the, the spoons in it? Yeah. No. I've never, I've never done that. <laughs> yeah. um, on the water system, so we've got 19 gallons. We got it integrated with the vehicle system. Um, it also provides hot water, which is great. Talk to me a little bit about accessing that water. Do you have ports, valves, pumps? Tell me how that part yes. of it works. So, yeah. um, on the side of the Jeep over here is everything. Uh -huh. It has your hot, cold water, your power button, your fill line to fill the tank. Yep. Uh, it has a light for the UV, the vent for the tank is on there, mm -hmm. and your air outlet. Everything is right there, just convenient, great. and it just stays there all the time. Yeah. And then cool. that's like, it's super simple. Right. You just press a button. Yeah. And you have water instantly. See, you even know, there's right, no setup for it, so yeah. there's not like talking about it. Once everything is contained to the vehicle and all that, okay, yeah. I just go press a button. Right. Like there's that's all you do. Right. Yeah. Even <laughs> now we you know, we've been building out our rig for a really long time and even now it's like, Well, we need more water. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, five gallon jug. <laughs> like yeah. Okay, let me put that in a smaller container because we need to be able to access it. So yeah, the convenience of that is, is awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. I, I really, cool really like system. it. I yeah. really like it. Um, yeah. When we're out camping and stuff, uh -huh. the buddies are coming over and yep. I'm sitting in the chair or something. I hear them. What are you guys doing over there? Oh, we're just getting a little bit of water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're using my water too, right. just because it's so convenient. Yeah. You know, they, they, yeah. they, they obviously bring their own water and stuff, but they, yeah. they're it's just convenient. Yeah. Re really nice. Mike, now um, the kitchen. We really want to take a look at that. Let's, yeah. let's take a look at it. Now, Mike, I've looked at some kitchens before, so I'm, I'm going to anticipate some questions that folks are going to have. So I'll just I'll, 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 uh, throw them your way. OK. First one. How much does the, the the kitchen weigh? So the entire kitchen complete yeah. with the sink and the grill and everything is 150 pounds. OK, that's not bad. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> including the Blackstone grill. Yep, including that, the Blackstone okay. grill. Got yep. it. Sink, cutting boards, um, everything all together. Cool. Now the other one other question um, that folks are going to ask, everyone wants to know you know, how stable you are at the end, right? Like, can you put a little bit of weight? Have you tested it? You know, have you tested putting things on the on the end here? And by the way, let me just pause. I got my head full of questions. This thing is awesome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is really, really cool. Yeah. yeah. 
That yeah, is... I, I really like the way it turned out. It turned out really nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you guys iterated on this for a long, for, for quite a long time, figuring out. Figuring out everything because when this rotates and closes up, the height, yep. you know, and we added this was um, more stack it space, you know, yep. for a serving table or something like that. Yep. So we really tried to get everything we could out of a small space without doing multiple slides. Right. And have to put a leg on there and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So. Very cool. It was very involved. Yeah. To, to very, get it to this point. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. And for weight out here, uh, you could do food. Uh huh. I've actually put a small generator on here mm -hmm. and it held it. Yeah. It, it, it was a lot of weight for it. I wouldn't recommend putting a generator on there. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. But plates of food, stuff like that. And if cool. you park level, um, obviously my, my gladiator is a little off level right now, but yeah. <clears throat> everything is 100% level. Right. Right, and then um, you said that this setup is is integrated with your um, water system, so that you get yes. your your water through your your kitchen. That's an option for folks, correct? Yes, it yeah. is an option, and we also have an option if you don't want a sink. Uh huh. You could just do. Um, we have one of those collapsible sinks tub that go here. Uh huh. So if you don't want the water system, you don't want water, you're going to bring your own. You're only Got camping it. a few times. Yep. You can have that option and still get the whole kitchen. Right on. Very, very cool. Um, so we have some more accessories, some more space here. Uh, tell us a little bit about the kitchen, how it's laid out. Yeah, so yeah. This, this cutting board here, <clears throat> what my idea behind it was, was if you're, you're cooking your food, mm -hmm. you know, you're cutting up your meat, but you need to access your refrigerator. Right. So there's enough room in here where you can close this, get yep. it out of the way, and you can get something out of your fridge. Right without it being in the way or your fridge being in the back of the slide way back there where it's really difficult to get to. Right. Um, and then once you get your tomato out of there that you need for your making your burgers, mm -hmm. you just slide it back, pull it back out. And this doubles cool. as the silverware drawer. Mm -hmm. So you have your silverware in there. And then back in here, we kind of designed this to where underneath here on the bottom, there's space to put your aluminum foil, right. your Ziploc bags, you know, whatever you kind of want to put in there. And in the very back, we have five inches of tall space. Yeah. If you want to do propane bottles or your cooking oil, different things right. like that, you can put in the back and you have the taller space. Yeah. So one of the things we talked about um, when before rolling the, the camera was um, uh, the utilization of space. So clearly things yeah. take up space. <laughs> so you, if, whether you pack a kitchen on your own, you've got all your, your different food. Um, or you have a system like this, it's gonna take up quite a bit of space. So you guys spent a lot, a lot of time figuring that out and trying to yes. optimize for it. And you have area to put dry food up here. Yeah. And it just stays in there. So mm -hmm. depending on how long you're going out camping, there's two packs of buns up here and chocolate, all kinds of stuff up here. And you, there's yeah. you, more room for more. And then we gave you um, this silver or uh, spice drawer. Uh huh. So you can put your spices up here and other stuff that you want to go along. Maybe you want a sponge to wash off your dishes. You yeah. can dry your sponge out and put it up here. Um, so we, it's another... Yeah, that's really, really cool. Just using every little bit of space yeah. we can, you know, for <clears throat> yeah. the area. And just standing right here and thinking about how I would use the space if I'm cooking here, I have some space back here mm -hmm. um, for whatever I might need. Um, it's, it's, yeah, that's, it's really convenient. I know I'm going to stack a bunch of stuff there. Yeah. And if you don't need the sink open, yeah. then you can close it and you can put a right. plate of food and utilize this flat area as well. Yeah. Right on. Um, so we talked about the weight, which to me is impressive, 150 pounds with everything. Um, what else should we know about the kitchen? That's something we didn't talk about. I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome. It looks durable. Um, yeah. one thing I like about it is it doesn't have to stay. Okay. I, th I think we talked about that a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Um, but you can mount it in there and you can pull it back out. Everything closes up into a nice box and you just remove it and put it somewhere different. Got it. A few bolts in the, in the, yep. in the, in the bed. <clears throat> Very cool. Um, and we do have lights that come with it. Yeah. Um, we, we are going to do an orange and a red. Uh huh. So I'll just do an example of what they are now. Yeah. Let's take a look at it. 
Now, nobody ever rolls in after dark. We all like to get to camp oh, before the sun goes and down. And make your food. And, and your, make your food. Yeah. You're all done. <laughs> yes. Okay, so at night, <laughs> when you roll into camp. Yeah, so we offer these lights here. So this lights up your grill. Yeah. That's where most of the time you got your phone out, you're trying to see what you're cooking. <laughs> Is my steak good? Right. You know, different things like that. It comes all the way across. It lights up the cutting board. It lights up this, your sink. Yep. And then we have a light in the food area. Uh -huh. And there's also a light in the bottom storage area. Yep. So you can see what's back in there at night. Yep. Very cool. Yeah, so you're fully lit up. That's awesome. And then you don't have your phone in your hand trying uh -huh. to use a flashlight while you're getting stuff out. I know. It's really nice at night. Yeah. And again, in terms of the in terms of your camp setup, it makes it really, really quick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And a lot of times there's gonna be lights on the rack and different things like that. But mm -hmm. if you're just pulling in and you set this up, you plug it in, you already have your light going. Yeah. Because right it plugs in when you plug the water in. All right, so Mike, I've looked at the water system. It's awesome. You know, I'm just looking at the components and the and and the pieces. I mean, that that thing is built to last and then the kitchen as well. I'm also really impressed with what you've done with the price point for folks. I mean, okay. it's it's hard to find that 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 perfect balance, quality and cost and mm -hmm. I think you guys did a really good job. How do people um, find out more. Where, tell us the website, any promotions you might have, where you might be if people want to check it out. Yeah, so right now we're doing an introductory rate until March 20th. Yeah. Um, and we are going to the Overland Outdoor Expo in Panoma. Cool. Um, in March. So if you come see us there, we're going to have another special deal yeah. at the expo. Very cool. Very mm -hmm. cool. So already a deal if they go to the website and the website you just probably just said it. Uh, megamikes.com. Megamikes.com. Yep. Um, so they, they can go and check that out, but then super special deal, come and talk to you. Yeah, at, at the, the expo, it's yeah. going to be a good one. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Super exciting. Thanks a lot, Mike. Really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Yep, absolutely.